Corporal Sam is locked and loaded. Are you ready? Let's go! All right. Ready? Aim! Fire! Oh, no! Sammy, what happened? Where are you? Oh, I hope he didn't hurt himself. I'm sorry, Sue. I just wanted to play and I hit your favorite clock. Oh, don't worry, Sammy. Things happen. Besides, I have a great idea. Come with me. Whoa, Sammy! Hi, guys. Since my favorite clock broke today, we're going to make a new one. This time, it's going to be wooden. It's safer that way. So I got it. I'm to blame. Please not again. Come on, Sammy. I'm not angry with you. You've probably guessed what style our clock will be. Truth to say, no. What are these drawings, anyway? Well, well, well. Oh, holy cannoli! Sammy, these are pictures from full-length anime cartoons by Hayao Miyazaki. Wow, Sue, can you tell me more? With pleasure. Today we're going to make a clock in the style of his animated film, My Neighbor Totoro. Huh, interesting. I'm gonna go read about it on the web. Guys, in the meantime, we'll begin our creative process. We'll have a starry sky on our new clock. To make future stars more visible, we're making our base using a dark-as-the-night sky paint. There! Did you know the song from this cartoon is so popular that they even listen to it in space? Wow, what a cool fact! <gasps> Speaking about space, let's draw chaotic dots like these. They'll imitate the stars. Okay. Phew, I hope there will be lots of them. Guys, did you know that there's an asteroid named after the main character of this film? Now let's add some magic into our starry sky. <laughs> Wait! Oh, I made it! Sammy, what happened? It's good that you didn't ruin anything. Don't panic, Sammy. Everything is under control. Our sky is almost ready! <laughs> Let's glue this piece. So I found something here. Is this yours? All oh, right. I'm going to need this piece exactly right now. It will shape the second layer of our craft. Let's paint it green. There. Don't rush. Do everything carefully and neatly. So I have a serious matter to discuss with you. Why are we making a clock only for you? I want one! So what's the problem, Sammy? You have enough time to make a clock yourself, too. Huh. My clock will be a hundred times better. I'll just grab a couple of pieces. I need this. I'll take this, too. And uh, this to refuel. <laughs> Wait a minute, why do I need this? <sighs> and now let's add the remaining pieces. Voila! This part is made of several large puzzle pieces. Awesome, right? But this is still not the final result. We need three more pieces like these. First of all, we'll connect them to each other. Carefully glue them together this way. Then come these stumps. Shall we add color? Uh, uh, green? That oh, doesn't fit. <laughs> Red, too bright. <gasps> oh, white. <laughs> That's just what we need. First, glue the biggest piece right in the center. Then we'll take our stumps. Here we go. So, oh, guys, our second layer is done! So, I finished with my craft. <laughs> uh, do you need any of my help? Yes, yeah, Sammy. I'm going to need pieces for the third level. Uh-oh. Uh, Sue, uh, you mean these ones? Yes, thanks! By the way, how's your clock? Aren't you tired of making it yet? Uh, my 
o'clock. It's okay. Tiredness, <laughs> Tommy. So what are you waiting for? Come on, show us. So you're impatient as usual. It's gonna be a surprise. All right, Tammy. Guys, it's time to paint the pieces of the third level. First, we'll take some blue color and paint the leaves with it. There. So I came across this article. It says each year they're making more than one billion clocks all over the world. Can you imagine? Wow, Sue, this looks just wonderful! Oh, thank you, Sammy! principle of painting on the first stage. Shall we speed it up? Cool! Let's add some glare and shadows. This way our leaves will look more realistic and bright. Awesome! We're almost to the finish line! We just need to decorate the clock and attach the mechanism! So here's our main character! Right! Let's paint him! There! Perfect! We'll carefully glue the tummy! And draw the eyes, of course! <laughs> So I decided to help you a little. Oh, Sammy, you never finish anything you start doing. Actually, I finished my watch. So it's time to add the main elements of our clock. Here comes our Totoro. Let's hide him in the bushes. This way. Guys, give a thumbs up if you like that too. <laughs> and there's no clock without numbers, right? We'll begin with one. That's awesome, Sue, but something's missing. Nothing's missing, Sammy. Uh, there, our new clock is ready. Oh, wait, can you only Sue? Can I add one finishing touch? Bam! Paint it, guys. Huh? Our characters changed colors. Well, that's even better. So guys, do you like our new clock? Shall we take a closer look at it? Surprise watch! Wow! You did this? And what's this button? Hi, guys! Today… This looks familiar. Okay! Oh, oh, oh. It seems like I'm totally lost! Ah, will this forest ever end? Ah, ah, la, la. Hey, Sammy, look what has just arrived! <laughs> Is it pizza, Sue? I'm always ready to unbox the pizza! <laughs> it's not. Um, what is that? What do you mean it's not? Did I come all the way over here to hear you say it's not a pizza? Then what is it? Our new craft. 
Um, where did you say you came from? I was wading through a wild forest! Next stop is the ocean! Well, in that case, there's just what you need for your adventure. What is it, Sissy? Come on! Open it up! You'll see it very soon. <laughs> Hello, guys! Today we're going to help Sam find his way home. Well, actually, I wasn't really lost. <laughs> Sorry, mister. All right. There's so many things! Let's unbox everything real quick. Oh, Sue! Have you ever felt the light, refreshing ocean breeze in your hair? Um, wait. What hair are you talking about? I mean that light touch of wild wind that gives you goosebumps! I thought Nutella is the only thing that gives you goosebumps. <laughs> ah, Sue, that unforgettable feeling when you and nature are unified! Ah, uh, I mean, how would you know? You've never been in the open ocean. Hey, Sammy, maybe you would better check out the contents of these baggies instead of inventing things. Right, baggies. Ah, what do we have here? Well, I'm not sure now whether to show it to you or not. Oh, come on, Sue, <laughs> don't be mad! Guys, do you have any idea what this is? Hmm, it all really looks like component parts of a spaceship. <gasps> I know, it's a flare, right? Those who get lost in the sea totally need that! Whoa, Sammy, how did you get to know so much about flares? So please, every self-respecting ocean fairer knows that! Every self-respecting who? <laughs> what are you talking about? Ahem, ocean fairers are the one who prowl the oceans. Do I need to explain everything to you? Hey, ocean fairer. Do you even know how many oceans there are in the world? <laughs> sure, there are five. Glad you asked. The Pacific, Atlantic, Arctic, Indian, and Southern. That one was discovered in the year 2000. Wow, the Southern Ocean? I didn't know that even existed. <laughs> it's good to have a slime who reads encyclopedias. <laughs> okay, in the end we should get a clock with lighthouse on the high seas. Let's get rid of some extra stuff. Ah, a lighthouse in the middle of the ocean. <gasps> Dreamy. Let's get started. We're going to paint all the pieces before the assembly to make them more unique. Oh, that gray color. It will always remind me of the hardships of that very day when I was left alone by myself! Oh, come on! You just got lost in your own room that time! Ah, uh, so did you have to spoil my dramatic moment like that? Guys, if you want to speed up the process, you can take a broad brush. Paint everything evenly, don't leave stroke marks. This way. Sue, can we have stars too? I mean, they're so beautiful! Sure we can, but a bit later. Now, let's try to make a soft transition between colors. This way, with light strokes. Guys, if you like painting like I do, then hurry up and give us a thumbs up. There we go. <gasps> wow! Would you look at this bright blue color? It's simply fantastic. I'm sure we'll end up with a very beautiful sea as a result. Just like a real one, right? <laughs> I truly hope Sammy will like it too. Let's move on to the other part. There. Guys, just don't rush. You will definitely make it. Ah, uh, Sammy! Could you bring me some paint for the stars? Roger that. Be right back. Thank you. Now we can finally draw the stars. Awesome! Guys, did you know that there are more than 6,000 stars in the sky? But we can only see about half of them. Let's make neat little stars. This way, it's very easy. Susie, don't forget about the Big Dipper and the Pole Star. Sure, Sammy. How could I forget about them? <laughs> Wasn't it already assembled? Uh, no, not that one. This one! Wow, thank you! Good job, Sammy. Let's add some color to it. Now we're talking. So beautiful! 
Susie. You set up the lighthouse and I'll bring you the base for it. I'm gluing it, Sammy. This way. Sue, can you remind those guys who didn't see our video with Totoro why we need this thingy? This piece is the base for our lighthouse and also a cover for the clock mechanism. Let's glue it right here. It's time to glue the kegs! We need these kegs to make our craft dimensional. We painted them the same color as the base to make them blend in. While Sue is gluing, here's the section called Interesting Facts from Slime Sam. Guys, did you know that the first lighthouses were fires? People were making them on the shores to guide the ships in the dark. Ahem, you're next, Susie! People didn't have many reasons to see far into the distance in those days. Back to you, Sam! Later on, they started using kerosene and hard coal instead of wood for lighthouses. Nowadays, the majority of lighthouses are managed by computers, and the lighthouse keepers are not needed anymore. And now let's glue the second level. This way. Oh, Sue, how cool! We'll have two clocks! Uh, why do we need two anyway? <gasps> what is that? A mint ice cream? <gasps> that must be tasty! <gasps> Where? One second! I'll be right back! <laughs> it's always so easy to trick Sammy. I hope you won't be too offended, though. Sue, that was mean! You know my love for sweets! That was a strike at the very heart! <laughs> Sorry, Sammy. I just needed some time alone. And here comes the most interesting part. We're going to paint this piece with an airbrush. Guys, to paint this piece, we're going to use two colors, blue and white. We'll get a more smooth gradient this way. That's right. Let's start with the blue one. By the way, don't forget to protect your work surface with a piece of paper, for example. And you can always ask an adult to help you. There we go. I adore painting with an airbrush. And you guys? It's so easy and fun, right? Now let's add waves using the white paint. Don't be afraid to make a mistake. Just turn your imagination on and create. It's so much fun! Let's add some more here. <gasps> wow, it's coming out so beautiful! I love it! Okay, we finished with the waves. Awesome! Do you know what's next, Sammy? It's time to make a clock face! Exactly! You're just in time! This way! <laughs> we just need to attach this mechanism and our craft is done! <laughs> Let's insert the heart of our clock. First goes the hour hand. Then the minute hand. Press it a little. And the second hand, of course. Hop. <laughs> Guys, just check out the clock we've made! It's just incredibly beautiful! Let's take a closer look at it. What's going 
Yes, I've been searching for you to show you our craft. And what are you doing here? Sammy! Sammy, are you all right? Oh, just look at yourself. Uh, Susie, you and our craft saved my life. I really don't know what would I do if you didn't come. Guys, the craft came out incredibly life-saving. If you agree, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. <laughs> Sammy, you're incorrigible. Guys, we have lots of ideas for our new crafts, so stay tuned. Bye-bye. I'm not afraid to travel anymore. Sue, what about going to the future next time? Where did you say you want to go? 